Hi everyone, it's Wendy. Um, kind of a quick video. Uh, in my city, or the area I live in, um, has a lot of thrift stores. I mean, we have the Salvation Army. Um, we have DAV, which is Disabled American Veterans. And then one that we have is called City Thrift. And it's a large one, and it uh, supports um, a mission to help the homeless and things in, it, in our area. Um, we also have Goodwill. We also have Savers. In that. Well, the other day I went into City Thrift. Um, I was actually looking for a baby doll <laughs> to use as a model for some baby items I'm doing. And I found this package. Now, what was unique about this package was um, the company that made these kits. I remember them distinctly because it was prevalent in the late 70s, early 80s. Um, some people would call it a multi-level marketing, which it was, admittedly, but it dealt with crafts. It dealt with a lot of needle crafts, let's put it that way. And I happened to be one of the representatives for them, and I went out and I taught how to do these different crafts as a college student. And it was a way to make a little extra money, you know. Plus, I like their stuff. Um, my sister actually has a cornucopia that I did for her over 30 years ago. So, um, oh, close to 30 years ago. So, the company was called the Creative Circle. And the thing behind this was it taught you how to cross stitch, it taught um, needlepoint, uh, I think latch hooking was in there. Um, I know um, embroidery was in there, cruel embroidery was in there. Um, it also taught a, a thing called trapunto which is the act of taking an image. It usually had to be a, kind of a large image or it had large scale items in it that you um, would stitch around. And then you would go in the back because you had two layers. You had the printed layer and then you had a layer of, um, oh, like broadcloth or, you know, some lightweight. Uh, cotton fabric on the back. You make a little slit in that back backing fabric and you would stuff it and then stitch it close. So it created a raised effect in that. And I saw this package and I'm like, oh my gosh. Now, I haven't opened it and I don't know if these are open, if they're all in there or not. Um, looks to be about four or five different kits from there. Um, I spent seven dollars on this and that so we're going to take a look at my back at my um that's something I remember um okay this one is called fruits and vegetable tips it also has kiss the cook and this is a it's a printed design, and you only stitch certain items of it. You don't stitch the whole thing. Um, if you can tell from the picture here, you would stitch her hair, you would stitch her dress around the um, banner here, the framing of her, you stitch her hat, um, a little bit on her face and eyes, and you put a name down here. Now, the fruit and vegetable tips is pretty much the same thing. You're doing the fruit or the vegetable and the, and the border around, okay? And it's all in there, looks like, because this hasn't been open. Okay, so that was the, that's the first one. The second one is called Pine Valley Mill and Stony Creek Bridge. And again, no idea what that is. It's a cruel embroidery kit. These all came out of California. Um, so this one is a cruel embroidery kit. 
It looks like it has been open, but it looks like everything's in there, especially the instructions. And this was the neat thing. You got a class, and it usually was just a little kit that you could practice on, and the instructor would teach you how to do it. And you got um, things to teach them with. You got little little um, embroidery kits. You got a plastic piece that you could teach how to do cross stitch on. You know, it it was neat. Um, And you see it teaches you how to do the different stitch that are used in this. It gives you the yarn code. It tells you how many yards are of each. Um, and this is three ply Persian wool or Persian yarn. I think this one was from the 80s. Nope, 78. You can tell because on the design itself, it tells you what year that design is from. So this one is from 78. Let me look and see if I can see which the cook one was from. Now I'm going to open it to find out. Can't open it to save my soul. I know quite a while back I did a search on them. Um, okay, this one. Okay, there's no date. As you can see, this is how they came. All right, looks like this one is just Kiss the Cook. Okay, they they use the same same packaging for two different ones. Okay, it doesn't say when this one was. 80. I'm thinking this is when all these kits were bought. And like a lot of oh, crafters, stitchers, you know, we buy, we see something, we like it, we buy it. We never, we may and may not get to it. I'll put these back in there. Okay, now this one has been opened. And actually, the yarn has been sorted. So here's something you can do with your styrofoam trays. Um, and this one is this. And it looks like that's all that's in there. There's no... But that's okay. See, this was a 12 by 16. And this one was done on... 18 count mesh or 12 count mesh canvas. So this was actually a needle point with 100% Persian wool yarns in that. And this again was in 1980. And this was the instructions you got. And it gives you an important thing about um, identifying correctly each color. Um, okay, this is long stitch. And basically what launch, long stitch, that that's a, it's a variation of, um, well, I can't think of the name of it. It's done on, uh, it's done on a, uh, mesh canvas too, and I can't think of the name. But anyways, um, the long stitch is, if you look at the picture, you notice all the stitches are long. I'm going to take the picture out. If you look at it, you can see all the stitches are long. And basically, you have this canvas, and you, you took and you, um, and it was printed on the canvas, and you just follow the color guide. It, this was a fairly easy one. See, it even says here, um, earn extra money. By introducing others to the fine needlecraft products of the creative circle. So, but this is kind of neat. 
believe me. This is Persian yarn, and I mean, look at how much they had left. Apparently, they lost the mesh canvas somewhere. Because it looks like all of the yarn is here. I'd have to do a inventory. But that was a neat way to use, you know, those styrofoam meat trays you get. It's kind of disintegrated over the years because it's been it's 40 years old. They smell it too. Okay. <laughs> no. All right. Here's another 1980s kit. Oh, I remember this. This is Patience Girl and Patience Boy. You know, God isn't finished with me yet. Um. I'm thinking this is the boy. So that's kind of cute. And again, you got kind of a version of long stitch. You've got embroidery, um, cruel embroidery, and that. Now this one is, I'm thinking it's the ornaments. Yep. And oh my gosh. Look at this. They completed them. They just never finished them. There should be four of them. There's one missing. Let me see if it's still in here. And you see, this is how the kits came. They came with everything you needed. And this was 1979. Yep, it's missing one. They probably got that one done, and that's why these three are still in here. But I don't know if you can see those stitches, but look at those stitches. And this red uh, dash line is where you would do the gathering for these, because what you would do is... Um, Put, put some of the stuffing on top, do your gathering, um, in that, and then you would add your back. See, and here's the instructions for it. And it shows you exactly how to do it, right here. You backstitch the ornament itself. So you have the felt here. You'd backstitch it to the felt along that red line, right sides together, stitch halfway around, you'd insert um, a cardboard disc, which you had to make, um, you would take and then put some stuffing in, and you would add the cording, which is also in here, which is right here. I am thinking that this was in some woman's house. They show you, even show you how to make the cording. Um, I'm thinking this was in someone's house that they bought. See, she even made some cording. Did an excellent job on it. Um, and family was cleaning stuff out and donated it. So this, this one, which is 2141, full color paintings on polyester, felt for backing, 100% Persian wool yarn, cotton embroidery flosses, polyester stubbing, thread needle, and instructions. So those, all I got to do is finish up those three ornaments, and that one's done. Um... Like I said, it, it just kind of took me back um, 
to when I I sold it. Um, and actually, I got a lot of compliments on how I taught um, because I would always make sure everyone got time. The classes are small. They recommend it no more than 10 people. Um, five or six was preferable, you know. And you'd come into their home and do it. I even had it at my home. You know, I'd invite people to my home. Um, but I had fun ordering stuff from them and everything. So, a little trip down memory lane. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I know they're out of business now. At least I think they were the last time I looked. Um, so, have a good New Year's.